tactic. Oh, we're still having so much fun in the studio. And right now, guys, Kidutanil Modalara. I'm sitting here with Monet, who is part of the top 25 of Mr. South Africa. You're one of the finalists. Well done. Thank and you. I know that it's, a, it's an, an exciting time for Mr. Epe at the moment. You guys are becoming a reality show. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, you know, the reality show is coming up. It will probably start airing uh, around about December. Uh -huh. um, what can we expect? Well, everything you've ever seen before. I mean, if you take all the reality shows, reality shows that you've ever seen, you combine it, except for Bachelor and Bachelorette. Okay. You know, I don't think Not we do the whole relationship no. part. <laughs> but yeah, if you take all of that, combine it together, mm. you know, there's a lot of exciting stuff that's going to happen. And uh, I truly believe it's going to be an exciting series. And mm -hmm. it's the first time ever, you know. So that's, that's an awesome thing as well. Very exciting. And being part of the top 25, how can we vote for you? Well, if you want to vote for me, you can just uh, SMS uh, Mr. SA, so mm -hmm. it's MRSA, okay. 065 247439. All right, yeah. cool. So now I know that you're also associated with a very, very cool organization or campaign rather that's all about anti-bullying. Guys, if you remember, we spoke about anti-bullying this past week on a Tuesday and it's so wonderful to see someone out there in the public eye part of something like this. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, you know, uh, as soon as we started, as soon as I started Mr. South Africa, I thought to myself, uh, you know, how am I going to use this platform mm. to create awareness? How am I going to use this platform to make a difference on the outside? And um, I started something that is very dear to my heart, and uh, I started my anti-bullying campaign. Mm. Uh, I believe it's something that's going to keep on growing as the years go on, regardless of what happens with Mr. South Africa. I believe the Mr. South Africa is a platform that gives you the opportunity to create so much bigger awareness of just yourself on the outside and focus on the kids and um, yeah you know and i started it due to the fact that um you know i lost the uh, i lost two friends to suicide which uh, is associated with bullying which is associated with bullying yeah. and that, that, that that's what gave me the initiative to start this whole campaign and I've actually got quite an interesting story. Yes, you do. Please tell too. us about it. I was just about to ask you. I know you have a wonderful journey leading to that point where you decided, all right, this is the campaign that I want to be involved in. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, sure. You know, I mean, uh, I just, like I said earlier, I, you know, I asked the Lord, how do you want me to create awareness on the mm -hmm. outside? How am I going to use the Mr. South Africa platform to create awareness? Mm -hmm. And um, with my friends losing, taking their lives, um, it was something that's very close to my heart. And I saw this on Britain's Got Talent, he had these two kids that rapped about uh, the bullying. And I the kid wrote saw those yeah. kids, guys, uh, those kids. It was two little kids who got up there and they started rapping, and, but their message was so powerful. Yeah. So amazing that they inspired someone like you, yeah? Yeah, you know, it, it, it actually took a hold of my heart. And um, I thought to myself, you know, it truly really stuck with me. And I mm. said to myself, is this something that I want to do? If, am I going to pursue this and am I going to take it further? Yeah. And about two months later, I was driving to work and um, listening to a radio station. And the guy, said, and, I, and before the guy went on to the to, on to the next song, he said to he said to the audience, "Guys, I please want to uh, play you a song." Yeah. And he played that same song. The and, exact same yeah, song. And I was chatting, right? And I was chatting with the Lord in the corner. I said to him, "Is this is this what you want me to do? Is this yeah. what you want me to pursue?" But you weren't convinced yet. No, not yet. You know, and I, and I said to myself, you know. I'm not sure, you know, this, it's such a big platform. Do I have the capability to make a to make a difference? And I truly believe that I do, because I'm always motivating people, always inspiring them, and this is just another way to do that as well. And then the song came back to you again later. Yeah, like, you yeah? know, and at, uh, I went to a men's conference, and um, before the before the pastor started, he said to the guy, to the audience as well, guys, I want to quickly play you a video, and he played the same song. Back same song. Exactly At this point, same. were you convinced by now? Not yet. Hi, Bob. Stubborn. Uh, <laughs> All right. The third time this happened. Yeah, you know, and I said to myself, you know, three is a, three is a charm, but uh -huh. uh, I said to the Lord, now, I want to, I want to, I want to challenge you, you know, actually give this to me and confirm this. And afterwards, I went to the pastor and I said to the pastor, well, this is what I want to do. And there was actually a guy from overseas coming into interview as well. And um, I went to them afterwards and I said to them, this is the journey that I want to go towards. Wow. And they said they're so glad that some of the status is going to exactly. stand up towards bullying because that is the direction that they want to move in. And yeah. that was just my confirmation. And normally you would be the face of the bullies because it's always <laughs> the big guys who are handsome and all that. They are the ones that just bully the younger ones. And you guys do actually interesting activities with the kids. Can you name a few of the activities that you do with them? Well, you know, when I, get to, when I go to them as well, um, I do not just motivate the kids. I talk to them about the experience of, you know, what happens with the guy that bullies, yeah. what happens to the guy that gets bullied. Um, what is the seriousness of what actually happens? What are the consequences? And I create awareness around that. Mm. That's why I travel to different types of schools, 
uh, universities and so on to create awareness about what this course is all about. You know, then we start bringing in, uh, bringing in games like putting in life scenarios. Wow. And as soon as you start putting in life scenarios, it actually touches them and yes. makes them feel, but would I actually want to feel that way? Right. And we use scenarios of to when two girls are, for instance, because bullying amongst girls is also... It also happens, that's true. Cool. I really like the fact that you look at both sides as a bully and also as someone being bullied and that you create a safe environment for kids to just express themselves and speak out. Well, thank you so, so thank much, so Monet. Much. Good luck. Guys, you can it. vote for Monet if you want to. But right now, remember we told you all about the games we used to play as kids. I believe I understand him now with Morabarab. Yep, that is 